Hello and welcome to another FS22 mod review. In front of us we have the 6020 premium John Deere tractors. These are all the four cylinder ones. These are a guide from Dino and UNM modding. In front of us we have the basic 6120 which is as it comes from the shop. No extras whatsoever on it. <clears throat> up to the usual high standard we've come to expect lots of options in the shop for these as well so standard trolley bulk tyres solid rims power cord gearbox on this one if you can see electromagnetic reverser two spill valves We then at the back here have a 6420S with a loader. This has many options on it, including full lighting package, TLS, opening roof hatch up there as well, the beacons, PTO buttons on the rear, mud guards, continental tyres. And auto quad gearbox with F position, along with three spill valves, full of simple IC as well. We haven't got the opening front window option on this, as usual. Start up to get rid of the warnings. Doors, side windows, passenger seat. Steering column towards that side, lower lights in and out, belt lights up and down, outside pair of top lights in and out, inside pair in and out, roof hatch, upper work lights up and down, cab light, right window. Hitch pulls, seat backrest, back window, sticker, and rear belt line lights up and rather than uh, do an impression of an owl, and in and out that side. So this one's going to be used for PTO test. So we're doing a bit different with the forage halves this time. Hopefully uh, I've picked one which will work with the trailer on the back. I know it'll tow one. You see big difference in sound level out of cab to in cab. This may or may not work. The minute the pipe is out, it's obviously uh, decided to tell the track that the PTO is running. The track is not logging up very much. It's 
so we should be slightly underpowered for this, was my thoughts. But it appears we're more than slightly underpowered. So no issues with how it's working the P2. The forage archer is uh, playing up though. Much quieter in here. does all work as it should do there. We're just slightly underpowered. a slight uh, forage halves the track issue with regards to unfolding the pipe and engaging P2 revs. Had that one of the two trail forage halves to mods. Now I've got the auto power one here with four spool valves. This one's going to get subjected to a real uh, test of power unfortunately due to the amount of plows I've got installed might be a bit excessive I'm going to try it anyway wasn't expecting it to move to be fair it shows how the power is better in the game now got a slower speed at least we can see the hitch is working as it should do I think we'll stop torturing the tractor at that point. And we've got a smaller trailer for this tractor. I'm not going to put on one of the big westerns like we normally do. This one on a slightly less hilly route as well. So 
So, not finding any issues that I can think of with these. So we'll get this down to the yard here. This map was set up for a series which never happened. It's also worth mentioning that or several of Dino's mods have been uh, cannibalised, shall we say, and uploaded to a mod site at the moment. Not quite sure why that's decided the grass needs cultivating up. Plus the IO for you. Right, so we can have a look in this shop at this now. If I press the right button this time. And a small tractor. We have the 6020 premium four cylinder, usual configuration options with the weights. We've got the 6120 in the power quad one and two, auto quad, auto part, then the same for the 62, 63. 6.4 and the 6.420S tar options as usual trelly borg with our standard two lots stand one with solid pans one with bolt in same with wide wide and narrow twins narrow wheels Narrow twin at the back and narrow all round. Back to standard. Same with the Michelins. And the Vredestein. Continentals. No shortage tar and wheel options as we can see. Only one Mitas with wide and same with BKT. It's a job to find the relevant sizes without uh, completely custom making them and knocking in communal cabin lights standard additional at the front. Premium, premium and additional, and all gives you the additional ones at the back as well. Two spill valves, or CVs. Three, four, and the same with TLS. Bonnet lights, standard or premium. And the same with the opening front window. Fenders, none on the front or standard front and wide back. Beacons and mirrors, we have standard beacons or standard mirrors, electric mirrors, left beacon, left with electric, right, right with electric, both standard or both electric. Starfire, 3000. 6,000, 3,000 monitor, 6,000 monitor, or none. Magnetic reverser, or magnetic with the PTO control, with the premium controls, then the same with the electric reverser. Roof standard, standard omnibus, 
or panoramic, panoramic openable, front loader, John Deere only, with a toolbox, without a toolbox with the front frame or with all the options, we've got the precision farming add-on, yes or no for GPS, we've got the colour of green plastic, which relates to the back of the cab, and the second one relates down here. Then license plates. So I'm sure these will be released very shortly. I would not recommend downloading the uh, ones with stolen bits in from the mod site. Several of us are currently uh, reporting that to the owners. But for now, that's where we'll leave this video. As soon as it's available, there'll be a link in the description. But for now, I'll say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.